Well, welcome to our business challenges series. We talk about all those, well, we're talking business dynamics actually, and this one is going to be execution. We don't mean shooting people, we actually mean executing your plan. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Well, I just got told off by John for the joke that I made, but yes, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never, mind. never mind. Execution. It's not what I thought you first meant, John. You meant actually getting out and doing Nike. Do it. <laughs> Absolutely. This is where we... We've got to have a giggle. We do have. We do have. <laughs> and what we've been trying to do is we've got to create some outtakes. Oh, yes. Yes, we're going to do an outtakes. And so we've got to, have, we've got to accidentally do them at, well, sometimes on purpose because uh, they're fun to do. And, and so uh, we, we will put some outtakes up. We will. Yes, we, we will. will. We, we do good. have a lot of fun in here. Yes. So, so we have a big goal. Yes. We spend time being strategic, but we fail because we don't deliver. Mm. We don't execute. Um, I remember in my early days reading a book that I just got it, and you know, a fairly decent sized book, but it's simply called Execution. Right, okay. And um, this is where we fail ourselves in so many times in, in business, is because we don't execute. So the example is mm. this a business has a staff meeting, yeah. has an agenda, minutes are taken. And then we have another staff meeting the next week. We have an agenda, minutes are taken. We have another agenda, maybe in a month's time, another staff meeting, and we do them you know, every, every month. We do two in a go, and then we have a break. Mm. But we have minutes, we have an agenda, we have minutes. We're missing something. If there is no execution on that agenda, and nobody is given any accountability about what's going on, yeah. all we'll do is have a committee and a talk fest and waste time for everybody involved and everybody who's impacted by that, that nothing seems to move forward, yet we seem to have all of these meetings. And we create lots of paperwork yes. and lots of plans. It yes. all sounds really nice. Yes, it does. But, but at the end of the day, you know, I've attended those sorts of meetings and I hate them. I hate them. Because it's like, okay, what are we doing and who's doing it? Correct. And when? That's right. <laughs> so unless you have um, the dynamic in your business dynamics mm. of execution being really important or implementation or an action plan or those, those ways in which you're going to engage with the dynamic of the work that you've done with the big goal and with the strategic thinking and you fail to execute, you fail yourself yeah. and you fail the business. You fail your staff, you fail suppliers, you fail your stakeholders, you <laughs> fail your future mm. because that is now what's going to take place to actually bring the future into the present. And I will say, I think some people, and it's going back to one of your comments in your failing forward, mm -hmm. some people go, well, I better not do that and set that time limit because if I don't make it, I've failed. But hold on, you've got 80% mm. of there, you're 80% further than where you were. I mean, Absolutely. A classic is, you know, we're franchising. Yes. And I said to John, look, we're going to do these franchising documents. I'm going to do the disclosure document and time for all that. I'll do it in a week. It took two weeks, but it got done. Mm -hmm. And someone said, oh, see, you didn't do it in a week. Mm. Yeah, but I got one done. Have you done yours? And they kind of go, oh, yes. but you're saying fail forward. Absolutely. Now, there's just been a couple of new regulations brought in to the franchising code. So I've got to tweak it a little bit. So it might be another week but it's been done. The franchise document itself has been drafted. It's not perfect, but now I can work on that. And it's like, yeah, you do set yourself time limits, but don't beat yourself up if you don't oh, meet absolutely. them. So don't let, let that stop you going for it. My principle is this. Mm. Your goals, your strategic thing, your plans, your big goal is not a carrot. Mm. It's a companion. And that, I love this one. Yes. And there's actually yes. a pod. Yes, there is, absolutely. Yeah. And so it, it lives by your side and is impacted by what you're doing day by day, mm. maybe even minute by minute. It really impacts as you execute what's yeah. going on because mm. you have no control over what people will do, what the conditions of the economy is, how much the gold price rises or falls. <laughs> yeah. I have no, we have no power over that, and yet we think we've got great power. We really are limited with the power that we have. But the power that we have, we then fail to engage it, is because we displace it by all of these other things dictating the terms to us. Mm. So when we understand the big goal, when we understand the strategic thinking, and when we execute deliberately in a focused, clear, and accountable manner, 
we know where we're going and we actually set the pathway mm. by which we're going to walk and by which we're going to lead the team and lead the business. It's clear, mm. it's focused, it's dynamic, it's powerful, and it's exciting because, and it's a, it's a companion to you so that if the conditions change, if the gold <laughs> price rises, yeah. it means the gold miners can actually do more exploration. And they're excited about that because they can pull more gold out, they're yep. gonna get a better return. It's really exciting. But if the gold price goes down, they might slow the process down, mm. they might cut the shifts, yeah. so the shifts aren't quite as long, still keep the business rolling, they keep the cash flowing in. You just change as the dynamics of the environment change because you know what you want to achieve. And like you said about writing your document, it might take you know, th uh, three weeks or three months, it doesn't matter because mm. the conditions of the environment might have impacted you to yeah. actually understand I need to do some more work and you take them on board, but you let it be part of what you're doing, yeah. not dictating the terms because you've done the work on yeah. the whole process. One thing I do like, and it was in one of the other podcasts and you've talked about this, and you're saying as you execute, you set yourself your milestones and then you celebrate them. Oh, absolutely. So this companion oh, absolutely. and you celebrate it and it does move oh, you to that next absolutely. level. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and so we link, let me, let, let me link this for you. Yeah. When, when we moving through the big goal, strategic thinking, executing, when you execute, one of the challenges you're going to face is, am I going to be positive or negative? and being positive matters. Mm. It's really, really powerful to believe in yourself and believe in your plan. Now, your plan doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to have all the elements <laughs> right. It doesn't have to have all the bells and whistles, but it needs you to be positive that I've done some hard work. Mm. I've done some serious thinking. So I've just taken on a VA and I'm loving what's happening because I'm thinking of ways in which I can tweak my effectiveness yeah. and tweak her effectiveness yeah. and it's brilliant and we just share ideas and it just takes us up that next level we've created a spreadsheet my va is going to help me manage the documentation actually which version we're actually on yep. i don't know how to do that no i've got a version yep. and what i would do is i would just keep adding to that and they would get <laughs> confused and but i've also thought of other things that we can tweak yeah. and keep improving the spreadsheet we've developed and so I know where I want to go, my big goal. I know I've done strategic thinking, I've stopped mm. and thought. I've put some um, executions into place and they're dynamic and they're living by my side and then I'm tweaking them as I'm experiencing and mm. I haven't had to, here's, here's the thing that we do to ourselves. We think we've got to think of all the answers when we've done the strategic thinking. All we have to do is think. That's what I'm saying, think, write it down, capture your ingenuity, but it doesn't mean you've got to wait till you have it all, mm. just have some. And you know, I think, I can't remember the name of the, the gentleman, I think he was French, and he came up with the 80-20 rule. Yeah. You know, like you said just a little bit ago, if we're 80% there, the 20% actually will come as we go. Yeah. As you put it into motion yeah. and you start activating, ex executing, implementing, going to the action plan with accountability, and you are positive. Watch out, yeah. seriously. You want, dynamic, you want a dynamic business? It will give you a dynamic business. I, look, I agree. You said something there, we're going to wrap up, but you said something there about don't try and make your plan perfect. I have mm. never seen a perfect plan because no. the minute it hits the road, the rubber absolutely. hits, absolutely. things change. Oh, absolutely. So get it to a grade B, mm -hmm. a good plan, mm -hmm. but don't try and dot all the eyes oh, across it. Because no. I can tell you my experience, and I know it's yours as well, as soon as the rubber hits the road, as soon as you start putting into motion, other things come into play. So you have to change it anyway. But you, what, what happens is you become aware yes. of those other, if you don't have the plan, you're not aware. You have exactly. a plan, you become, oh, that's gonna impact it, or that's, and you can adjust a dynamic plan, not a carrot. It's a companion, not a carrot. It's a companion, it's not a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a companion, not a carrot. So with the companion, we'll take a break. Stay tuned for more in our series of business challenges on dynamics. <laughs>